Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Jamin's Daily Texas A&M versus Bama edition. We fell short once again. Not surprised. But on the bright side, I went and tailgated with my girlfriend, Rachel. We met up with my niece and her boyfriend, so Cameron and her boyfriend, Josh. And even more, the most epic, most epically, and the thing that made it also amazing was I met up with two of my OG college roommates, doormates at Hotard Hall, Brett Whitaker and Anthony Bailey. Now the great thing, when we first were driving into College Station, there was a lot of traffic. And once we got in, if you haven't been to College Station, the BCS recently on a game day, it's bumper to bumper, crap a load of traffic. We could not find a parking spot, which I had anticipated. Luckily enough, we found public parking in a parking garage on. Lucky enough, we found parking in a public parking garage that we parked there on Northgate. It only cost me 30 bucks. It's like $6 an hour. They're five, six hours. It was 30 bucks when we checked out. So, But it was worth it. Definitely worth it. We we parked, got, grabbed our stuff. We made our way towards the stadium because Cameron had said she had uh, passes to the 12th Man Foundation um, tailgate party. So we're making our way. If you know, that's even further, even past where the stadium is. So we were walking towards the stadium. Bailey calls me. And, and the fact is, when, when I was on my way to the game, I my hopes... Did not have a high to the the percentage, and of me meeting up with my friends, I was like, ah oh, man, I hope I didn't even know if Brett was going for sure. Sure enough, he was with Bailey. Bailey's calling me. Dedicated to meet up. I want to give him a shout out. He made it happen. We we meet up. We're like, hey, I'm here. I'm there. On game days, I'm sure everywhere it the cell service sucks. It's hard to communicate, but we found each other. We had this connection, found each other. And soon after, we run into, maybe even right right before then, we ran into Cameron. Not even, we were going to meet at the 12th Man Foundation, but we met within the, faci- uh, the festivities that are going on, which is like almost like finding a needle in a haystack because there's literally tens of thousands of people all over the place and finding one person without coordinating like looking for them is crazy and we did rachel's like there's cameron boom found her it all came together like the line the the stars the, the moon and the, the the planets all aligned to make it work out great here's you'll see some of the photos that we took you know they they've uh, the university has been wise to create all kinds of now uh, photo opportunities, photo setups, as you'll see here, where it says, you know, Giga Maggie's or Aggie Land and uh, different things for uh, the, the the 12th Man Ring, not the 12th Man, but the Aggie Ring, different photos for photo ops, which is great, much appreciated. And ultimately, we ended up having to stay in Conroe, great. Great accommodations. Rachel, great job again. Once again, my girlfriend, she found these um, these hotels. Really made it feel like it was a vacation. I feel like well-earned, Jamin. Well-earned. Till next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Jamin's Daily. Stick with me. Be my friend. Facebook. Go to Facebook. Be my friend. Like, share on YouTube, subscribe. I'm got I'm 120 subscribers now, guys, all right? I'm trying to hit 200 before the end of the year. To the next time, stay tuned because the best is yet to come. What's happened to my to my fishing here? My 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 parking spot was uh-huh. on an incline like that, out an outdoor incline. You see over there? Just like that. And when one time they okay, uh, froze and I tried to walk to it, you know like, Slipping and shit, it was so funny. I was like, fuck that.